What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having an awesome day and is ready for the weekend. Um, for those of you guys that are new here, my name is Svet. I play the mobile game Rise of Kingdoms for Apple and Android. Uh, I've been playing for a little over a year now and love sharing information about how I play the game, what I do to maximize rewards in any specific events, how I strategize for Ark of Osiris, and then, of course, my most favorite event in the entire game is KVK which we are going into right now. So if you've watched some of my other most recent videos, you've seen that we are in the pre-KVK stages. Um, I had a video on stage one, which was Marauders, a video on stage two, um, which was training troops, which I did not really partake too much in. I did train probably somewhere in the realm of about 50, 60,000 for that event, T5 uh, for that event as well. And then today I went ahead and trained another 70 or 80,000 T5 as well, just kind of getting prepared to go into the Lost Kingdom. Wanted to have some more troops for um, Ark of Osiris this, week, this weekend as well. Um, so today, the last stage before we get to go into the Lost Kingdom is stage three. So stage three on Eve of the Crusade is where we attack Marauder encampments. So they're kind of like Barbarian Forts, but they're a little bit different in the sense that they are marauder camps. And so let me find one here on the map to show you. They're just like this. So again, they're very, very similar to a barbarian camp, um, but they are marauders. So the rewards are gonna be a little bit better um, and they are gonna be a little bit harder to kill. Now, everybody does this a little bit differently in their alliance, in their kingdom, um, and they just changed how you actually get points for the event. Um, and so as you can see here, it kind of describes, you know, what's going on. But then the point breakdown here at the bottom says destroy one Marauder encampment, encampment is 10,000 points for the individual. Whereas destroying that same Marauder encampment gives the kingdom 50,000 points. So it's no longer based on the individual score that adds up to that kingdom score. It's all based on just the amount of Marauder encampments that you hit. So it doesn't necessarily matter that you're packing full all of these rallies um, with every single player that you can to get credit for each fort going down. You actually just need to kill as many forts as possible, which definitely was a change from how we used to do it. It used to be, you know, we set a limit on, hey, no, nobody can send more than 50,000 troops into this rally, and you need to have a 10 minute countdown on your rally. So we used to do it that way to maximize how many players we could get in the rally and get credit for killing that marauder camp but now the kingdom score actually only counts up for each camp that is destroyed so we're doing it a little bit differently um it's taken much much longer for me to get to my um individual score here so so far i've only done 36 yeah ten thousand each so ten thousand each i'm at three hundred sixty thousand. i've only done 36 encampments and this event has been going on for almost a full 24 hours. So um, it's definitely a lot slower than, you know, the individual Marauders event where they're out in the field or previous Marauder encampment fighting that we've experienced in pre-KVK. So it's a little bit different. Um, it's still kind of fun. They seem they seem a little more challenging. I can't, that's probably because we're not jamming them packed as much as we used to in terms of getting, you know, hundreds of thousands of troops in here, like upwards of millions or 1.5 uh, million troops per rally. Right now we're just actually doing, you know, very minimal troops per rally. We're trying to keep it low um, with the start, the starter of the rally or the leader of the rally, and then maybe one other player, two other players. We're not getting too crazy on filling these all the way up to the brim. So it's definitely been a little bit slower, but it does perform exactly like uh, a barbarian. Fort would go, so it's the same exact thing. You just rally it like this. I will rally it with my main rally, um, Cao Cao and Moto. Always use a peacekeeping march for these. The, the AP rule does apply. So the more that you're fighting, the less it's going to cost, yada, yada. All the buffs count with the peacekeeping tree as well. So you do want to use peacekeeping commanders. Um, and then you want to use cav, of course, just so that you're marching around pretty quick. Um, what we've kind of been doing is here and there, most of the players are staying. If you see in the minimap here, so most of the players, and I actually left my sound duck up there to, to farm gold. Um, because I don't have all five marches joining Marauder Encampment rallies like I would in previous pre-KBKs. But 
Um, everybody stayed in pretty much our normal territory. We do have small pockets of players. Like there's a little one here. And then I saw these guys down here earlier today and said, I really want to finish this. Um, I don't want to have to be rushing to get points for this event in the last minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and join these players down here and just start joining a bunch of rallies. I also brought my alt into the mix. So Sveti Tree um, can actually lead a rally. So that's nice. I have a pretty decent moto in that account and I can actually get it done. So that is what I did. I joined these players down here. So I've got Ermagerd, um, Sleepy, Doc, and uh, Vert de Ferk. <laughs> um, so a lot of these are farm accounts. So we're all just kind of trying to get our points as an individual. And then we'll go back to kind of slow and steady with the full-blown alliance um, where we're not really rushing and filling a bunch of rallies because it is just each fort that we kill or each encampment that we kill uh, gives the kingdom points. So we just want to make sure we're able to get our individual rewards and then other than that, just kill as many encampments as possible. Again, using all peacekeeping marches um, and using cab because some of these you are going to march kind of far for and you want to make sure you're using the fastest commanders and the fastest troop type possible, which of course is cab. So um, that's it. And like I said, I do have my alt that I'm playing with and my alt's actually on a completely different phone. Um, so that makes it kind of nice. I thought it was a really good idea when I started to have a different account on a different phone, but I don't carry this phone with me like everywhere I go. So it ended up being kind of a bad idea, but it is nice for events like this where I'm gonna be sitting here for a while trying to finish my event um, and I wanna get it done. So it's nice because if no one fills my rally, I've got my alt that I can go ahead and just fill it up a little bit more. Or in this scenario where I've got my alt, my main rally is filled, no big deal. I'll go ahead and launch one with my alt and then fill it with my main. Let me just find an encampment. There we go. Yep, and then I'll just go ahead and join. And since it is a weaker account, and I, I do have a maxed moto skill-wise, but not level-wise, um, I will use Aethel Fled and then Caesar to fill it with as much cab as possible. And that is pretty much it. So again, we're more, much more slow and steady this time around because they changed the way that the points are counted. Um, we do not need to fill to the brim every single rally um, on a Marauder encampment like we used to. But we do need to kind of stay on top of this. And that's, you know, you want to kill as many encampments as possible. So we've got some really, really long marches going down in here. Like I said, most of the players actually stayed in the main territory of the Alliance. And they didn't leave and go out to small pockets like I'm in right now in Zone 1. Um, so we've got, I mean, upwards of when I was launching them last night and, and earlier today... You know, my march was 20 minutes sometimes to get to that Marauder encampment. Um, so it's very slow, very steady. But again, the goal isn't to get um, as many players into a rally as possible. It's to kill as many encampments as possible. So that's how they changed the rule this time. And you can kind of see that in the way that they tell you how you're earning points. So it's no longer just about, you know, destroy one Marauder encampment, boom, 10,000 points. That's what it used to say. So every player that was in that rally would get 10,000 points. Then collectively your total would be your score. So they added that in there to show, hey, you actually just need to kill more um, encampments. And it's not just about shoving as many players into a rally as possible. So um, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it definitely helps. It definitely helps conserve a P, I think, because you can kind of even it out a little bit more where not every player is trying to get into every single rally. So it, it definitely conserves at least a little bit of AP for the, the kingdom and the alliance and you as a player. Um, but it does make it much, much more difficult to get these individual rewards because um, if you're trying to keep the rallies kind of small, you know, one, two, three other players per rally, um, it can take a while to get into a rally. Um, and then not only that, but we were marching so far away um, whereas previously with these, we would, you know, take the whole alliance and say, Hey, move, everybody move to this location in zone one. We're not doing that this time because it's much different. Um, but another downfall kind of the new rule and the way that it's set up is that you can have your march out there for 45 minutes sometimes 
for one uh, Marauder and Kamen. So that's one negative part about how they redid the rules. One positive part would be that it does definitely save some AP um, and stuff like that. So if I'm going to take a quick look at the individual rewards here. Okay. So it's pretty, it's pretty normal. This is about what I remember from the last pre-KVK with Marauder encampments. Um, it's also pretty similar to a Barbarian Fort. Let's see if I can find one of those. I doubt I'm going to be able to, to be honest. There we go. Oh, I already took it. So, I don't know. It's definitely it's definitely a little bit better than a level 5 Barbarian Fort, but it's, it's very similar to what it used to be. Um, so the only major change with Marauders this time around is the way that they calculate the score, which changes the way that we've acted a little bit um, because we want to save as much AP as possible if we're not going to get points for it. And then um, the only other difficult part is just making sure that you get that individual score. So it is a three-day event. So really, I, I probably could have paced this out and made it work. I just don't want to be there with an hour left and still have to do like, you know, 15 Marauder encampments. So I just don't want to be in that situation. So I'm going to try to get to about 45 tonight. I'm going to try to get that reward done. So from 380,000 to 450,000, maybe even another five or so. Um, so that way I'm really within striking distance kind of coming into tomorrow and I can just get this over with and be done. Um, that is pretty much it for these Marauder encampments. Um, definitely the most action packed stage of pre KVK was stage one where I was nonstop hitting marauders that were out in the field. Um, stage two was very, very light in terms of just training. So all I was doing was kind of hanging out, waiting for the right rune, doing some, a little bit of training here and there. Um, not too eventful in terms of fighting things or doing anything like that. Um, this one definitely is more eventful than stage two, but not as much as stage one. So this is fun because it's taking a little bit of strategy. We kind of had to rethink some things. And the forts are definitely, or the encampments are definitely more difficult than a level five um, barb fort. So that's fun about it as well. I've got my alts in the mix, so I'm having some fun with it. Um, but in terms of like eventfulness, stage one, stage three, then stage two. So that's kind of how I'd rank it in terms of like the most fun for me. But of course, what this is leading up to is definitely the most fun of what we're looking for is the actual KVK itself. So I'm very excited for the Lost Kingdom to open. Um, I'm very excited to actually fight some other kingdoms and some other alliances, put my commanders out there, put ourselves up against them and see what we can do. I'm very excited for that. I will have tons of footage on that for you guys. Um, I know, like I said, one of my other videos, KVK is probably the top, if not very, very close to the top reason that we play Rise, uh, Rise of Kingdoms. So um, if you guys want to see that content, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit the like on this video if you guys liked watching me kind of position myself and how I arranged it to fight these Marauder encampment encampments. Um, and like I said, if you want to see the true fighting in KBK coming up, got to hit that subscribe button for me. I will keep putting out content for you guys so you can see how I play, how we do things in our alliance, what kind of commanders I'm working on, um, and stuff like that. But that is pretty much it for tonight. If you guys are doing anything different than I am for these Marauder encampments, drop the comment below. Let me know if maybe I missed something and how I'm supposed to play this and how we're uh, supposed to use this stage to get more ready for actual fighting or whatnot. Um, like I said, drop a comment if you guys are doing anything different. I love hearing from you guys in the in the comments. Um, have a great weekend, everyone. I will have Ark of Osiris this weekend. So my next video coming to you this weekend will be Ark of Osiris. Talk to you guys later.